It's hard to believe, but the Bishop Lure Show Choir Invitational is celebrating its 40th anniversary. Joining me to talk about this celebration and magnificent event are Carleen Krause and Monica Zwick. Ladies, welcome to Arts Weekly. Thank you for joining me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. My, I have to just say right from the start that Carleen Krause is one of my um, first friends at Fort Wayne mm -hmm. um, because she is a uh, teacher extraordinaire. Oh, thank you. I had some, I had some drama teachers on a few um, episodes, a few uh, segments, a few episodes ago on Arts Weekly, and I say it again, no one works harder than high school drama and music teachers, and Carleen, you do both. Yes. So Bishop Lures is really lucky to have you. Oh, thank Absolutely. you, thank you, thank you. So let's get to the Invitational, the 40th Invitational. Is, unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Is this the oldest in the country? It's the longest running show choir in the competition in the nation. In the nation. It, mm -hmm. So it started 19... 1975. Father Fred Link, who was the music teacher at that time, decided to get a competition together where they would bring in educators to critique the choirs. And at that time, we were called swing choirs. Mm -hmm. And he did that the first year. There were what? Uh, seven choirs. Seven choirs. Bluffton, local. Norwell, local, Concordia had a swing choir. And they competed. Um, and it was basically putting more the emphasis of singing, the vocal performance, along with some dancing. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that's what they were judged on. Very simple criteria. And look what it's um, expanded to. Right. As I say, you know, there's not a weekend in the United States starting late October through June on, and now in the world in Canada and far reaching out to other countries that there's not a show choir invitational and it started at Bishop Lures. Wow. I, um, you've been working on this now. How long have you been director of music at Bishop Lures? Uh, <clears throat> I've been a director of music at Bishop Lures for the last 15 years and the director of the theater or performing arts department since 1985-86. So you've been doing show choirs for 15 years as well. At, well Prior to that, I was at another high school, but at Bishop Lures for 15 years, yes. Well, is it a little bit like a speech competition? I mean, do you, you go around from one competition to the next or one invitational as a, as a, as a choir? Yes, yes, we compete weekend to weekend also. We're this uh, coming weekend, we will be at a show choir invita invitational at East Noble High School. And how many choirs do you have at Bishop Lures? Um, we ourselves are uh, very good. Uh, what do I want to say? Gracious or fortunate? Fortunate. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, to have three choirs, um, um, all men's group that we started. This is our third, second year. Second year in in our girls and our mixed choir. So that's a great privilege to have with only 600 kids in our in our student body. Yeah, and I know from experience that one of the um, great things that. Ms. Krause is uh, uh, good at is recruiting those boys from that football team <laughs> because I've seen them on her stage in musicals. Yeah, true. she has, and she that's actually recruited my son, who was a wrestler, and she's right. like, mm, "You're here." Yeah, so exactly. that's what he was doing. Yes. I mean, uh, kudos because to have an all men's choir that's pretty impressive at well, the high school level. But that came from the guys themselves. Oh, they wanted to. They, oh, they wanted did. to start one. Yes, we've we've wanted to get one going for about five years. Uh, but what's interesting about it is we are one of five or six male show choirs, all male show choirs, in the United States. In fact, we're the only one in the state of Indiana right now that I believe is out competing. Right. Um, Mendelein, who's coming to our competition, has a choir, and they're in, out in Illinois. So, mm -hmm. Well, if then who do they compete with when they go to a... The they, women. The women. The women. Yes. Okay. It, they about... change it to a unisex. They call it unisex division. So. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some regulations about competing, are there not? <laughs> I mean, yes, you yes have to there, there are on, rules. There are rules. You have yeah. to I, tell me a little bit about it. Don't you have to stay on the risers to a certain extent, or Go ahead. not yeah. to that point? I mean, your performance time. Uh, we are we limit ours to twenty five minutes. You have twenty five minutes of performance time, um, and typically it's set up. Um, it's to set up to tear down get everything off the stage. And most show choirs do a performance anywhere from 15 minutes to 20 minutes of actual singing, dancing, and music. And then you have your setup time, depending on the elaborateness of the sets and the staging of the risers themselves. But there is choreography in some of these performances. I mean, they're danced and they're costumed. Oh, and, yeah. I mean, it's, oh yes. It's a major, it's a show. It's a Broadway show a sometimes. Show choir. Yeah. It is. Mm -hmm. So is it, um, are you affected by glee? 
Is the popularity of show choir affected by glee? I think the show choir has been uh, become more popular, a little bit more towards glee, towards the students that aren't involved in fine arts. There's mm -hmm. more of that acceptance. Um, mm -hmm. In no way is glee really what these kids do, I mean, besides no, singing right. and dancing, mm -hmm. but they don't show the 12 hour rehearsal days, they don't show um, the, the voice cracking, yeah. they right, tire exactly. the muscles and this, right. and, yeah. and that, that's probably uh, uh, the one thing that bothers me the most about the Glee program is that you really are not seeing what right. the hard work that these high school students put into this art form. Yeah, we as theater teachers know sure. that when we direct plays it's the same thing. It's like, boy, they just sang that song on Glee in two seconds. Yeah, sure. We work four no and a half months on that, that, yeah, on no that two minute on that dance two number. Minutes. That's right, yeah, that's absolutely. right. Yeah. Um, so how many people come to an Invitational? How many, how many choirs do you invite? Well, Monica's our director of the Invitational, and she can address how many. We have 19. We have 19 choirs this year, all the way from West Virginia, Ohio, Illinois, and Indiana. Um, this year, we, with it being our 40th, we invited our, all of our past grand champions. And um, we've been privileged to have a lot of them come back. Mm -hmm. A lot of them chose not to come because of the competition. Once you're a grand champion, you're, you know, you don't, right. that's stiff competition. I don't want to fall off that pedestal. No, that's a no. Far fall. So we have some um, premium choirs coming this year. I'm mm -hmm. very excited. Yes. Um, showchoir.com, they rank all the show choirs nationally and we have four of the Five, uh, four or five top nationally ranked show choirs mm -hmm. coming to our competition mm -hmm. on little old Fort Wayne. Well, so. uh, yeah, but, you know, brag a little bit because you guys have been at the top of that list a couple of times. We have. Oh, very much so. Very much so. You Beginning have quite this year, a reputation. We have been. Absolutely, yes. you've been at the top of that national list. Yes. We have been. Um, what, um, what do you mean by grand champion? Are, are there awards? I mean, how do oh, you? Well, we oh, give. We what give. What a nice way. Oh, I'm glad we're we're into that. And it's heavy, too. <laughs> it's heavy. Let me see. It, oh, it is heavy. Wow. Mm -hmm. We give <clears throat> We give out um, probably the most awards of any of the competitions. We divide of all of our choirs into a class system so that, you know, your school that has 500 students can be at least a class champion within their size of school, and we have an A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. And then out of that, the top six mixed choirs, then, what, no matter what size, compete in the evening. We also, on Friday evening, have a junior high competition yes. where we um, have, have a grand champion mm -hmm. junior high middle school. And then we also have a unisex during the um, grand champion. Uh, we don't have them compete in the evening performance, but we award a grand champion in that category. We give out awards for, for the best uh, percussion, the best wind, the best keyboard, so that those, uh, the best technical, best vocals within the show, the best brass, so those students that are not necessarily up there in front of the, the um, crowds Get have... some acknowledgement. Exactly. Right. Sure. Exactly. Now, who makes these decisions? Our judges. We and have, the judges are from where and what? <clears throat> Currently, they're lo they come from um, Indianapolis, Southern Indiana, Ohio. They're college professors. They're they're professionals in their criteria that we want them to judge in: mm -hmm. um, choreography, music, um, mm -hmm. it, it, the, costume, the, well, general fact, general yeah, that fact. kind of stuff. Yeah. And we have a timing judge mm -hmm. to make sure that our mm -hmm. choirs are getting on the stage and off the stage within a certain amount of time and the right amount of people too. And then our, our for our caption awards, which were the percussion, Larry Ford, who people know here in Fort Wayne, Dave Jones, um, Tom Judge Tom Feltz is our keyboard judge. So we uh, bring specialists in those areas to judge those students in that categories in those categories. When you say the grand champions will. Uh, compete at night. So there's a, a series of competitions during the day and then they come back and they do the same program again or they can do a different program? No, it has to be exactly the same according to our rules. Um, we have 19 choirs that perform th throughout the day and of those 19 choirs, six of them go on the mixed choir and they have to perform the exact same mm -hmm. show. Six, same students, music, everything has to be the same. And they're based, uh, judged, and compared among their six, and we grand champion that final person. So if you add that up, Monica, you're talking about 25 concerts 
in one day. Absolutely. Absolutely. And not including our choir performing at the same time, too. We'll perform In twice. one venue, or do you in have one, several venues? It's back to back. back boom, I would boom, love boom. to have another venue, but with that, that <laughs> takes another building, <laughs> another. <laughs> Six <laughs> more judges. Yeah. 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 Yes. But it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's good for students to have that kind of. Um, uh, as I said earlier, you, you attract football players, wrestlers. Um, I like the fact that your show choir is about the participation and not so much about it. You've always been about the yes. educational element of your theater and of mm -hmm. your music, and I really like that about Thank your you. program. I think that's uh, my goal is that every student at Bishop Lewis High School, by the time they've graduated, has been in one theater production or has been in a, one of our choirs and been in a performing group and getting close. Getting close. So do you um, handpick these? No, you didn't handpick these 19. You went after some other grand champions. But do you limit the number? I mean, because you've got to get it we done in one to. day. One day. And so is 19 your cap? And that's... Um, we, we I like to say 19. Actually, I like to say 16 is our cap. But um, we can't say no sometimes. Uh, yeah. And so we've had up to 21 choirs yeah. in our small buildings. So. This year we had 35 who sent in applications. Mm -hmm. And we were only able to select the, the 19. We select the premier groups. Let's get to the information because I don't want anyone to not know when this incredible okay. event Thanks. is. So how do they first, how do they find out about information regarding the show choir? Well, it's on our website at www.bishoplures.org. Um, it's available on Facebook also. And uh, showchoir.com has all of our information regarding show choir schedules and judges. So that's available at showchoir.com too. And they can call the school at 456-1261 and ask for Monica's Wick, and we can get them ticket information at that point. And the big event is starts Friday, March 7th, and, right. at evening with the junior and middle school yes. choirs, mm -hmm. but all day on Saturday, March 8th, starting at what time? 8 a.m., and our last performance is at 11.30. Well, I would say buy tickets early because that <laughs> evening performance is going to be incredible. It will. It, it will be. Thank you. Well, congratulations on your 40th anniversary. Oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. And um, I look forward to seeing as much as I can. And the spring play real fast is? Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. I will have yes. you back on the show to talk about that. Great. Yes. 75th anniversary. Great. Thanks. I'm John O'Connell, Dean of the IPFW College of Visual and Performing Arts. Please join guest host Melinda Haynes next time on Arts Weekly when she'll visit with Allison Ballard of the Gestures from the University of St. Francis. Then Michael Floyd will be here to talk about the upcoming Windsong Film Festival. For up to the minutes arts updates, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And be sure to join us here live Thursday evening at 7.30 on PBS 39. Thanks for watching Arts Weekly. The preceding program on PBS 39 was made possible in part by... Excellence lives here, here in Northeastern Indiana. It's reflected in more than 200 nationally recognized degrees. It drives our Division I sports. It's alive in our campus life. Excellence has a name, IPFW. Around our campus, around the country, around the world. Excellence lives here. Indiana University, Purdue University, Fort Wayne. One university, two great names. For nearly 60 years, Arts United has worked to bring the rich, diverse talents of our region together through support of the arts, socially, culturally, and economically. Arts United, providing a home for the arts in Northeast Indiana.